Okay, hey people, how are you? Um, narration only, I'm not camera ready. <laughs> but this video is gonna show you how to use this tabbed um, page, if you like. Um, you have your all of your lecture options, but for me, for classes that are lecture-based, um, I like using the different tabs to cover each topic. Uh, for the classes that are lecture and lab-based, you know, you can use the tabs in a couple, a couple of different manners, maybe one tab for the video and then maybe one for the directions, um, but it's just an option. And uh, this page has some nuances on it. So I want to make, I wanted to give you this video of how to use, how to use this page. I did not create this page. I borrowed it from somebody <laughs> that I found this page uh, in the Canvas Commons and I really liked it. So I've been using it ever since. So what I do, and you can do this with all the pages in the, in the module, is um, when I'm, I'm teaching a class I haven't taught before, um, I duplicate this template as many weeks that I need for the class. So let me show you how to do that first. Um, if you go to view all pages, which is since you're on pages, it'll be here. So view all pages. And then you have to scroll down to that page. And I have a lot, I'm in my sandbox. I have a lot of pages in my sandbox. So let me scroll down to view from template. I have a lot of stuff in my sandbox. <laughs> I realize this. Okay. Um, so here it's week one uh, tab sections. The other version, lecture option one, is here. Um, if you just go to the three dots over here, um, click the three dots and you'll see duplicate. If you click duplicate, it will just give you another copy of it. You can do the same thing with the other page. Actually, you can do it with, uh, oops, yeah, you can do it with any page. Um, so if you're going to use some other lecture option, if you if you have a template that you like instead of having to type over your what you've already typed, you can just copy those pages, okay? Um, so uh, these other tab sections, when you add them to whatever module you're gonna add them to, you just have to change the name, but it will at least give you the same, um, it will give you the same information that's on the page every time, okay? All right, so back to um, back to the, the tab section. So of course we're gonna edit. We're gonna edit, I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing um, I'm going to do uh, a fashion history 20, a fashion history 20 class. This section here um, that has this italicized piece in it, you can type something in here if you want. Actually, the video is going to be in here. Um, or you could leave it blank. So if you, um, let me leave blank. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to delete it so you can see it looks like blank. If you leave it blank, um, this is what it, what it will look like. But I like using that section because whatever is in that section, um, whatever is in that section will show up no matter what tab the student is on. So for instance, let me go back and save it again. Um, if the student is on this tab, it stays there. It stays up there to the next tab. So this, this portion of this template is static. That's why I like that. So again, when we go to my example, I'll show you, show you what I do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to edit. Now, this is the thing that's tricky about, about this, this template. So if you see all of these um, bullet points that are here in blue, they actually link down to these sections at the bottom. But unfortunately, you can't cut and paste over here. So if you copy, if you completely delete all of this, it will take your link away. So when I'm naming my tabs, I name them... Um, I, I, I backspace, I leave the R, and then I name it whatever I'm going to name it. So I'm just going to call this uh, how it all began. Okay. So do that. And then after I have everything typed in there, then I go back and remove the two spaces so that the first letter is at the, is at the, the bullet. Like I said, if you completely take the word out, it will, you'll lose your link. Okay. So try not to do that. Okay. Um, so what this is called, so whatever reading one is called, is the same title that this tab needs to be called in this tab. So again, we're going to do how it all in. Um, and now I'm going to save it just so you can see what it looks like. So you'll see that the tabs have changed. So how it all began, began and how it all began. Now, underneath this section, you see that it has paragraph one or paragraph two, I'm gonna go back and edit. You can put as many paragraphs as you want in <laughs> as long as you don't move on to reading to reading two. So you could put a paragraph, 
a video, you can do a, a second paragraph, you can do third paragraph, fifth paragraph, you can kind of go as long as you want this section to be, as long as you don't type over where it says reading to, because then that takes you to the next, to the next link. And when I, again, when I get to my example, you'll see, you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Okay. So um, in between this header and this header, you can put whatever information you want to put in there. You can insert an image. Um, let me see. I have images in this course. Let's see. Let me get you can insert an image. Yeah, I do. So I can put Dominique Devereaux in there. You can insert an image. Um, you can insert a video. Actually, also with your images, you can always manipulate them, make them smaller. You can do what you did. So you can insert an image. Um, I can insert a video. I don't think I have any videos in my sandbox, but we'll check. Apparently, I do. Don't know what it is. Let's see. We'll put that in there. Some video that I recorded. Who knows what that is? We'll play in a second. Um, you could also um, insert um, a document if you have one. So sometimes I put, have like charts and graphs that I put in there. And then, of course, you can type as much text as you want. Um, and, and this media, is, if it's media that you recorded, you can, you can put it in there as well. Okay, so you can put whatever you like in that section. The other thing that I do as I, as I um, fill each section, I hit save. Because <laughs> I hate to say it, I've been deep into it and then walk with my computer my computer went off and it didn't save everything so i do save this page very often so you, as you see now um what i what i included in there is there um under under tab one and um again this information this is still there unless i unless i remove it and then if we go to tab two um again it's the same it's the same thing so your header stays the same for each one and then actually your your footer stays the same for, for each one too Okay, um, so now I'm going to go over, uh, oh, sorry, before I do that, um, if there are tabs that you don't use, so say, for instance, you only need four tabs, right? If you only need four tabs, you can just delete the ones that you don't, you are not going to use. So if you're, um, if you're going to not use um, five, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, you can just highlight them and delete them, and you will see they have um I've gone away you need to make sure you get rid of that bullet point or it'll still be there but then you also have to go down to this section and and delete them here as well okay so delete them both um, you see I have that footer I have that footer um there that's going to show on every page too and then if I hit save you will see I only have four tabs okay um I use the I like I said I borrowed this from somebody else so the 10 tabs work but I don't need the 10 tabs. I, I, I've never used more than probably six or seven tabs. I think the one that I'm using, the one I'm going to show you is six tabs. Okay, so that's what it looks like um, for you to do the editing. And really, this the blue part is the more important part. Don't delete the whole thing to type your information in. Just uh, type it in and then delete it to kind of like a R. Okay, all right, so let me go over and show you what one looks like for me. So this is one of my classes. This is actually, move this over a little bit. This is um, Fashion D uh, 20. And you see I have, oh, it looks like I didn't use a bunch of tabs here. <laughs> this is first lecture. Um, I do have all of the tabs here. So uh, Nature and Purpose of Dress, and then we click through the origins, common themes, um, and then if we scroll through what I have, like this one, I have a video that I created. Um, this video is probably like 15 minutes. That's why there's not a lot of text on this page. Um, you can go to Nature and Purpose Address. I have a combination of text. Actually, I know in, in the beginning, these were like 15, 20 minute videos. Um, so you see that uh, there's a lot of videos at the beginning. And then when we get to Ancient Near East, uh, I have this graphic and some pictures and, and a video and a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of other stuff. So this was a multimedia extravaganza. Okay, um, so I think that is all that you need. I do this um, for the lecture classes. That way, the students can do it in bite-sized chunks. And if you see my directions are here, it talks about how you know they should be taking notes and 
you know, they can do this in, in bite-sized chunks. This is the same amount of lecture time that they would get if they were coming to class face-to-face, -face, just in 15, uh, 15 to 20 minute video chunks. Okay. All right. I think that is it. Let's, let me see. Let's go back to the, let's go back and make sure that that's all I have for you. Yeah. I have two windows opens. <laughs> They're overlapping. Now let me move that back. All right. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.